Hadad was a Western Semitic god of weather, worshipped primarily throughout Syria and Phoenicia. Derived from the Akkadian deity Adad, and in texts found at the site of the ancient Canaanite capital city of Urgat, the name Hadad has come to replace Baal. His voice is described as roaring from the clouds, and his weapon is the thunderbolt. His mother is the goddess Asre, and during Hellenistic times, he was primarily worshipped at Potamias and Heropolis. His Syrian consort was Atargadis, who actually overshadowed him for the local populace of Heropolis. Now, statues of these two deities were carried in a procession to the sea twice yearly, and according to the Jewish writer Josephus, Hadad had enjoyed a major cult following at Damascus during the 8th and 9th century. By the 3rd century BCE, the Hadad Atargatis cult had extended to Kemet, where he becomes identified as the local god Sutika. In Greek tradition, he is associated with Zeus and thus his consort is the goddess Hera. Weather gods are plentiful in mythology. Oya, who was the Yoruba Orisha of winds, tempests, and cyclones. And of course, Set was the god of storms and lord of the desert. In the Americas, there was Huracan, who was a Mayan god of wind, storms, and fire. Kawahi, who was a god of lightning. There was Indra, who was a Hindu thunder and lightning god. Marduk was also worshipped as a god of water, vegetation, judgment, and magic. There are many, many other water, weather, and storm deities out there that I haven't even had a chance to mention yet. And we'll get to some of those in details as we move through the important thing is that we see weather deification in many cultures all over the world from different peoples and we tend to represent these gods in similar fashions. The weather or storm deities tend to sit at the top or near the top of their individual pantheons. They are very powerful creatures. They wield lightning and thunder as their weapons, but they can also be benevolent creatures who provide an oasis in the desert when needed or the waters that are going to bring about spring or winds to help power your boat. So depending on your perspective or what your role is in the world, a weather god was probably a deity that at some point you needed, and so did ancient peoples. So thank you for stopping in again at Nine World Chronicles as we start to explore some of the various details that connect the different civilizations that we look at and hope to understand.